Alright guys, welcome to a Realm Unborn Final Fantasy XIV. I've never played any Final Fantasy games before. This is my absolute first look. I'm just opening the game. I've never been past this menu. Just changed the uh, resolution settings and a few of the sound options so hopefully, you know, so I don't blow you guys away with the talking mixed with the music and everything. Uh, so I had this game recommended by a friend. We're going to go ahead and check it out. So let's play. Heidelin. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents, there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Yeah, I was told this the is, uh... You know, just like any other fan, uh, Final Fantasy game, that they put a lot of emphasis on the storyline. And although it's a uh, MMO as well, but I should actually uh, pay attention to the story. So I'm gonna see if I can, uh, if I can do that. To date, all have proven ephemeral. Very great cinematics. 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gollumald amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon Dalamo was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon wow. the realm. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the error to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale is yet unwritten. It's an interesting structure over there. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. All right. I guess now we're at the uh, character creation menu. I like these visuals in the background. Okay, we have her here. We have Elizin, Lalafell, that's this little dwarf, well, whatever, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these, I'm just going to pick whatever one looks coolest to me, I guess this is your standard looking, or human looking race, I'm going to
try to change the uh, small little details. I'm not sure what these are. These are just visuals and okay, it's pretty cool. So you can see your character in a variety of settings. Okay, I wonder if I can um, adjust these even more so. Uh huh. We're going to be about. What is that? Five foot eleven and a half. So that's as tall as we can get. We're gonna be pretty jacked. White, because we racist. Hmm. What's a cool hairstyle? Just go. And yeah, we can just stay this. It's pretty much how my hair looks right now, anyway, in real life. So we're just gonna go with a little shaggy look. Okay, color. I usually end up making characters uh, similar, or at least somewhat similar to real life. I'm not gonna usually pick a character with blue hair or something like that. Honestly, as generic as this is, I I don't mind this this hair. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. Now for the face, we don't want this weird-looking Hernandez face. So let's let's see what we can do as far as that goes. Hopefully, we can change the minor details of this too. We'll go with this as the base model. Barely made any difference with the jaw. My shape. Not a whole lot of difference. <laughs> you look like Scorpion. Completely white eyes. Almost completely white. You can even have one eye a different color than the other. It's interesting. Eyebrows. Doesn't really matter. We'll just keep it at the default. Nose. Default. Mouth. Default. Just want to get rid of that little mustache, though. What color? Who cares? We're going to be clean shaven. We're going to get a tattoo though. Yeah, we'll get a tattoo, sure. What color is it going to be? We'll have this kind of dark blue. Base paint. Eh, who cares? Tell me we're just listening to grunts. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. 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 Hmm. Sure. Whatever. Okay. So we're done with... What did we just do? I guess we just did everything. I guess you can't do a whole lot with the body besides height and muscle tone. But, you know, that's enough. Go ahead and confirm it. Hmm. Hmm. Select your character's patron deity and deity. 
I don't know if these do anything. Elemental attributes. No idea what those are. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I guess these are the uh, classes or jobs or whatever they're called. What do we want to be? Be an archer, maybe. Yeah, we'll go ahead and be an archer. Or we could have these little sub magic classes Conjure, Canis, Thal, Turg. Just be an archer, that sounds cool. It's always cool. Hmm. Group. Okay. Is this the server? Yeah. Okay. Friend told me to play on that one, so I guess we'll just make sure we go on that one. Alright. Give a first name and a last name for your character. a new game. So I'm not exactly sure how the platform works with this. I'm not sure if I'm actually just doing a, a normal first person game with MMO attributes on the side. I'm not sure if this whole thing is MMO. Again, I've never played any Final Fantasy game and I've obviously never played this. This is my first time playing it. I haven't even read much about it, so we're just gonna, you know, take it exactly from scratch. 